export an STL file from Fusion 360, we can create a 3D model in a CAD software. So 3D printers don't print photographs. They don't print 2D sketches or 2D CAD files. You have to create a 3D model. We can create a 3D model in various kinds of CAD programs such as Autodesk Fusion 360, uh, Autodesk AutoCAD, Inventor, SolidWorks, etc. In this uh, example, we're going to demonstrate how to export an STL file from Fusion 360. Open source FlexMental 3D printer uses uh, STL files and they use a program called Slicer for the slicing software. So we have to create a STL file from our 3D CAD system. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over on our desktop and we're going to double click on our Autodesk Fusion 360 icon. It takes a while so I sped that up so it's already launched. The first time that you uh, log in to Fusion 360 you'll be asked to enter in your Autodesk student and educator user name and password. After that it doesn't ask you anymore. Um, you can get Fusion, uh, Fusion 360 free um, if you're a student or an educator worldwide. Any student, any educator. You go out to autodesk.com and go to the, the student and educator uh, website and you can sign up for a free account and you can download the software for free. Now that we're in the Fusion 360 software, we want to go to step two and open a Fusion 360 design file. We're going to go to do that by going up to our file pull down menu. We're going to hit the down arrow. We're going to go to open. And then uh, over here in the open, uh, we can go into any particular project we have. Um, I can come over here on this one here and say, oh, um, I'm going to click on this particular uh, file right here. and I'm going to say open and uh, it'll launch the file and, uh, and it comes up with your Fusion 360 uh, design file. In this case this is a guitar I'm designing. Step 3 is I want to export this Fusion 360 file to an STL file format. I'm going to do that by going up to the file pull down menu. I'm going to go down to export. Then I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to give it a short name because our 3D printers don't uh, don't have a long. They can't support long file names. You don't see it on the controller screen. So I'm just going to give it a guitar and I'll say 3D. Okay. Next is the type. Right now we're using an Autodesk Fusion 360 archive file or .f3d. I want to change it and hit the down arrow and go to STL file. That stands for stereolithography. Next, I want to save it to a location. All right, So I'm going to click on my ellipse button. I'm going to save it to any particular location here. All right, I'm just going to save it out to my documents file. Okay, And that's fine with me. I'll call it Guitar 3DS. I'll hit save. So you can put it on any of uh, location on your computer you like. Okay. And then I'm going to hit the export button. And then I hit the export button. It'll go through and you gotta have connection to the internet, but it's going to go out to the cloud and it's going to generate an STL file. An STL file is a 2D surface geometry file. It won't have any interior, no CAD intelligence, um, but it now is complete and I can see that file in my File Explorer, Windows Explorer. So we've just created an STL file uh, from Fusion 360.